Franchise Report. Reporting live. Yes, sir. Franchise in the building on another mother effing day. Shouts to the lovely Leticia in the building. Mm. And here to bless us with her presence. Mm-hmm. Roxy Hart, what up? Hey, how you doing? Last but oh, the voice. He's like, hey, how you doing? You like it? <laughs> <laughs> That's not like a whole telephone operator. The, the, the sex I literally have heard that my whole entire life. I really do just sound like this, guys. <laughs> really? Yeah, you like it? <laughs> Where you from? I mean, okay, so I was born in Boston. Um, I moved away from there when I was like 10, and I lived in Maine for like my whole life until all this music stuff started happening. Um, Maine? What the hell was it? Maine? Right. <laughs> There's not really much up there. Um, <laughs> she said me. <laughs> no, it's like where they. I don't even know how to describe Maine because there's so many different people there. So like, there's not one thing it's known for other than lobster. For real, you gotta kind of go there, but I wouldn't really recommend it because are there actual black people, nigga niggas? In There's Maine? nigga niggas there. There's, really? So I'm gonna say this. So like, you know how people go on subsidized housing type shit, Section Eight type shit. So when you're on a list, if you're homeless, they're just going to ask you, do you want to go? There's some empty apartments up there. So most of the people who've been on like shit like waiting lists, uh-huh. they'll send them to Maine to their little projects up there. There's refugees from Somalia there. There's mad different people from California, Florida, Philly, New York. Boston, really? Tennessee. I just, I just there's niggas from Maine, and I just hear the the, the trailer. It's, trash. it's not what you think. No, there's I, that there's, obviously there, too. Is, is there a lot of girls out there. It's my girls. We got strip clubs. I mean, look at her. I used to be the house mom at um. Yeah, but she clubs. left. She left. She <laughs> yeah. left. So well, I mean, that definitely, I'll say this: there's girls. There's no one like me, of course. Me. I'm definitely one of one. But up there, I used to um, be a house mom at a strip club called Diamonds Gentlemen's Club. There's my girls up there. You can go to Ricks. There's girls. Okay. okay. Yeah, that that explains the voice for sure. Shout out my girls. Girl no, I really one day. <laughs> she got the whole voice, everything. She got the whole sex appeal going down. <laughs> Thank okay. You very much. How long have uh, you been doing music for? Um, since twenty nineteen. Okay. Ah, what made you, you start doing new. music? COVID. Um, no, not COVID, no cap. I was um before COVID happened, I already got caught a case. I had got in trouble when I didn't have shit no more. So I just was like trying to figure some find something to do, you know. I found some shit to do and I'm really good at it actually. So you mm-hmm. you sing more than you rap? Um, I definitely can do both, but okay. I prefer to make what I like to listen to, which is pop music. Um, so I like to, this more mainstream. I want no one to be able to turn it off. So I make mm-hmm. sure everybody can listen to it. Okay. Okay. That's the main in you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the main in me. Well, my father is, my father's British, but he's from the Bahamas. So like, I'm white too. My mom's Native American. Her dad's like full Native, like feathers, the Cherokee. Blackfoot, and then my um, my dad is white, but he's from the Bahamas. Mm. So like, I'm really like a little bit of everything for real. And then I just lived around my people. Out, you know? out, of, out of curiosity, what the hell was y'all listening to in the house? Right. Um. Well, I don't know my dad. He's he's deceased, but my mom listens to everything. So like, my favorite artists are like Coldplay, Miguel, and like Future, Gunna. I listen to anything. That's who your mom was listening to. Wait, how old are you? How old are you? I'm 30. Okay. My mom listened to like old school R&B, like Silk, Shy, like Lisa Lisa. You know, okay. like smooth shit. So. Does she listen to any rap? Not really. No. Actually, okay. no. She's more like an usher type of lady. Okay. So that's where you got the R and B. Yeah, I'm a smooth kinda. like. Okay. I don't how'd, really like to rap, but I can. How'd you lean into rap though? How'd you? My cousin pissed me off. <laughs> I made like a diss track. <laughs> really? Niggas pissed me off, and I don't. You see, my voice is kind of low, so like. People don't be taking me serious when I talk shit to them because they think it's cute or something and I'm being dead ass. I like, get it, nigga, 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 I push will over. Kill it's like, I'll punch you in your nigga, fucking face and they're like, for real, do it. <laughs> so like, Damn, that sounds so sexy. Like, uh. Yeah, so like... Come kill me, please, come kill me. <laughs> but anyway, go ahead. Uh, so I just kind of... <laughs> I just wanted to talk my shit one day and I don't want to... I know if I say it to you, you're not even going to read my shit or you're not even going to listen because you're going to be yelling. So I just made a song and that's kind of how I started. Like, being like, oh, I'm good, I could do this shit. And then I just kind of... Does your voice switch up when you're rapping? I mean, it's more aggressive, but it's still the same tone. I don't really get too loud unless... I don't really get too loud. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You know me. I feel like people listen to you more when you... You know? Like if I'm yelling, no one's listening to that shit. I don't like that shit, so... So you're outside. You're out doing events. Yes. You're everywhere, making yourself known. Definitely. Making a presence for yourself. Right, so... Well, basically, back in... Last year, actually a year ago today, I made this song called You Don't Love Me Back. It's literally a year ago today. Fuck them. 
I made this song called You Don't Love Me Back because this someone pissed me the fuck off, didn't let me back. Well, you, you said them. It sounds like a group because, of friends pissed well, you off. Well, it was because he cheated on me with somebody, so uh, I caught them today a year ago. Uh, and they just went left. And I had studio time the next day in the morning, like 9.30, so I had to still go. So you better let that go. I let it go. Let me tell you the story. So, boom. <laughs> I made this song. Well, she got the year anniversary of... Nah, because it's... Let that go, When shit like listen, that bothers let you, let it bothers you. Nah, you because, listen, go. listen. It's a full circle moment. I got a record deal from this song. I made this song that day, and I didn't ever go back to Maine after that. I, like, then I ran away from home, really, because mm -hmm. we lived together, and I was like, I'm not going back there. So then I moved to California, chilling, just doing shit, trying to be Roxy. And then this guy named Danny found me on, like, a stream. And I ended up signing to um, 1200 and Empire back in November mm -hmm. from this song. So I have a three single deal from this song that I made when them niggas pissed me the fuck off. So I'm over it, definitely. It's just funny that it's happened to be, you know, today. Mm -hmm. My snap memories reminded me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're everywhere. You're not just along the East Coast. You're on the West Coast as well. No, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I just, I'm like, um, I travel a lot. That's I good. don't like to stay in one spot. I got ADHD. Mm -hmm. Listen, I don't, and you ain't got no kids, so I don't. No, me. I do. Oh, I, do? I got five kids. So I'm talking about B. I got five kids. That's why I really, really do that shit. Because I got five kids. I have to be the. They gotta give me how's, your old, how's your oldest? How's your, your, uh, your um, oldest? My oldest is almost 13. And my youngest, she just turned one back in February. Wow. Oof, you got some time, B. <laughs> no, this is fun to me. I mean, I, I don't have a big family. So, like, I made one. They cool as shit. My kids, though, they spend most of their time with their father while I do this stuff. So. They listen to your music? Oh, they love it. Um, they like to do what I do. We're literally like friends. They my kids, but... How many girls? How many boys? I got uh, three sons and two daughters. Oof. Girl, I give it to you. I got one, and I be like, eh. No, it's a lot, but like I said, I be... I don't have, like, people. So, like, I made my... I don't know. It's a different perspective for me. My kids are like... I just, you know, it was my own Thanksgiving dinner table. Period. Because I'm you know, invited to one, you got to make your own. You know what I mean? My son's 23, and I'd be like, get the hell out. Get, get out. Get out. No, so me stop. I love him. But yeah. no, I, I didn't. I didn't. I, I, and I don't look like I got no kids. You don't look like you have any kids. And, and, and the way you say you're living, it's like, not to yeah. say you're living in a fucked up No, way, no. But. See, that's how I know I'm supposed to do what I'm doing because shit just aligned itself. I didn't ask for none of this stuff, and I didn't try to, like, this shit just happened this way. My kids ended up where they are and all that type of stuff. I didn't be like, yo, watch my kids so I can go be a singer. You know what I mean? Like, I ended up getting in trouble, so they live where they live because I was, like, making sure they were safe. Right. But then this all transpired in those moments, like, in the time they'd been with their dad. So now I kind of just capitalize on the time where I have my free time because I know I won't always. Right, have it. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, respect to you. Seeing mm -hmm. the interesting life that you live, I'm curious to see who are the top five artists yes. in your life. Like they gotta be rappers or just artists no, in general. Artists Anybody in general. in general, when you get in the car and you're going through it and you just need to hear your top five, my favorite, these artists just affect my life. All right, well, I mean, no cap. If you know me, you know I listen to me. I don't listen. Doesn't count. I know, but I'm gonna tell you that's how I play in the car. It's me. But the people that I do like, Miguel, I listen to Gunna very often. Future, like the whole YSO type of thing. That's my vibe. And then I like um, old school shit. I listen to. Like Diana Ross, nigga. I listen to fucking white people shit, Maroon 5. Okay. I put on Paramore. Okay. I don't know. I listen to whatever I feel like. And I'm always, I try to be in a good mood for the most part. So anything that makes me feel happy, I'm going to put that shit on. I don't like listening to no screaming ass rap. I don't like the drill shit too much. It's not <laughs> It's not my favorite. She and says screaming ass rap. You don't like the crying ass rap? I don't really listen to, no, nah, because no disrespect to no artists because they're good at what they what they do. But like they're not my favorite because it's not what I like to feel when I listen to music. I like to feel happy, so mm. I don't listen to no emotional shit because I don't want to be emotional. I want to forget about the sad stuff, mm. not necessarily dwell in it. So I listen to happy shit. Mm. Mm. Speaking of happy shit, I'm sorry to cut you off, franchise. <laughs> um, not only do you do music, mm -hmm. you also are an entrepreneur, and you have your little. Yes, I have big. Roxy runs. I am um, so. Runs. As I said, like I'm from Maine, kinda, and I live in Cali too. So I was gonna ask you if you guys got good butter Maine, because I know uh, you do. Uh, we I know Maine, you do. no cap. Maine's like the L.A. or the East Coast. I know you do. Shit's yeah, gas yeah, because yeah. a lot of people over there, like even people I went to high school with, they all got their own dispensaries. They crossbreed a lot of the gases, so it's like it makes. Been one time I went to Maine, they go. had something called White Widow. Man, <laughs> you were stuck. You were stuck. Man, listen. 
Now uh, you gotta go. Like if if I had to say what you should do, I mean, if you smoke weed, try the dispensaries. There's so fucking many of them. That's your own strain. This is my own strain. I, I crack just that back. Maine. Crack that back. Pour some on that table. Let me see what this looks like. And that's from Maine. No, nah, this this Maine? is from Cali. Okay. This is from Cali weed. But it's your strain. It's my okay. strain. I got I got three of them. This one is Roxy Runs. Inside of the bag, no cap. That's not Roxy Runs. I just had to bring some weed inside because I seen we could smoke. That's, it smells like some gas. Stuff. That's Rockstar OG like in the bag, but I got stuff. Roxy Runs, Rockstar OG, and I got High Standards, which is also that. my clothing line. To just say it's she don't smoke. Why you give it to her? Because I want to smell she it. She has no clothes to smell. Maybe I want to. <laughs> she could tell people. <sighs> gas? No, it smell good. it's smell good. She has no clothes she smells. Yes, I do. What do you t- I used to be the biggest smoker <laughs> ever. I just haven't smoked in the last 10 years. But yes. That's a long motherfucking time. It is. I can't. If I smoke, I'd be like smoky right now. I'd be... Yeah. Okay, you wanted them? Nah, I'll be needing that shit. Yeah, I got bad anxiety. Yeah, we don't need her no. smoking. Um, what yeah. we do need, though, is for you to get yes. to this work. Are you ready? Okay, so I'm ready. Straight. But, like I said, I make like electronic type of music. It's My shit's fine. not this, but I got you with some bars. It's, it's fine. You got it. You got right. it. Mm. It's Roxy. <laughs> Don't tell me that you love me, I know niggas like to cap Say you getting money, well then take me to your trap Playing with my money, you gon' make me get the strap I change my name to Nav, cause you know I'm fucking tap uh, My old life is your new life, that's not a flex You two-faced, I like blue face, I need a check It's been two days, I ain't answer my phone or my text Do maybe we not together, but we still have sex It's rock and pop, do my fucking thing They assume that I'm about to rap and then I start to sing No shaping boy, city yard and mine, they make those gold ring ring Elevators, mine and this motherfucking dingling. Look, I don't want no one do me no favors Cause I know that I'm just gonna hear about it later When I'm just trying to stack paper Get this money saved up so I can go back to LA And take shots with a Laker My side fight Detroit and shirts and pistols with a piston I gotta stay shots, can't let no little bitch catch me slipping If I see them blue lights then you know that Roxy dipping And when we in the strip club you know that Roxy tipping Patron with Lamone on the rocks is what I'm sipping Uh, yeah, he on the phone with them thoughts Bitch, that's why he trippin', see he callin' my phone right now He say he want me to come home right now But I live up like you won't believe Still be out here serving geeks Right before I went on stage, I bust a play right up the street Please don't kill my vibe, dog. Just kill my cat Bitches hate me for no reason Said that I think I'm all that, and I am Cause I don't do it for the likes, I do it for the bands You crazy, I'm a lady, but I feel like I'm the man You faded, yeah, I'm faded Cause I just smell like three grams Kanye, Jay-Z, watch the throne, I'm about to go Ham, I'm a skywalker, moon gazer I ain't never been a faker Risk taker, a flight risk. I'm a fly bitch, always getting gifts, so I don't never gotta buy shit. Uh, look. <laughs> she can rap. I can, my bad. I've been drinking a little bit. I didn't come here for this for real. I came to support rap. Bonnie. She Shout out to Bradstall Bonnie. Now listen, rap. listen, listen. Rap. Shout out to Bradstall Bonnie. <laughs> but you was here. Thank you. She wouldn't have brought you if she didn't think you had something. Nah, that's home my for girl. You. No cap. We've been outside. She's been my little road dog. We've been outside. I've been Both on tour y'all. doing a promo tour for my song, so I go to mad places to perform. And she's always ready to go with me. I be going to match season. She's like, I'll go with you. Both of y'all. We keep outside. That. Keep that mm-hmm. energy. Keep the love. Keep 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 it positive. Thank you very y'all much. Y'all both got something going on for yourself. I Your know. voice is definitely is is. Thank you. You got a rapper's voice. You also got a singer's voice. But you definitely got that sex appeal voice that's mm-hmm. gonna attract people. So thank you so much. Keep I doing your it. thing, young lady. Keep doing your thing. Out of respect, anything you want to say? We didn't get to ask you. Yes, actually. I have an album out. It's called The Muse 2. I dropped it back in uh, the summer, August 1st. But that shit is mad fire. No skips. It's 14 songs. Listen to that shit when you're in a car and you got a long road to drive. Listen to that shit. No cap. And best way to find you? Uh, Instagram at Roxy Heart Official. That's R-O-X-I-E-H-E-A-R-T. Official like I am on Instagram and pretty much everything else. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, came through. Shut it down. Roxy Hot here. 